So Neo's fine ass baby mama slash fiance, Crystal Renee, said something on social media that had black women crying their eyes out. Women in general who ain't shit, but especially a lot of nasty hair hat wearing black women were crying their motherfucking eyes out when she said this on Instagram. She posted a meme that said, and I quote, <laughs> stop complaining about your baby daddy. You picked him. And she went on to say, and I quote, when we choose who we produce with and then it doesn't work out, it is our responsibility to take blame and our part, not throw stones and point the blame. If a man doesn't want to change before the child, then a child definitely won't make him either. So to place all blame on him is, in my opinion, weak. We all have choices. Hashtag better, not bitter. Hands up to the Lord. 100. Hashtag I'm happy with my choice, though. End quote. <gasps> yes. I see why he's marrying this woman. See, Neo is a smart man. You know, he did the right thing. Now, a woman with this type of mentality gets it. You have these crazy women out here blaming men for everything when things go sour. It's always the man who is to blame. They take no fault in anything. They go on TV crying. And they're like, how can we get find a man not because they're gay sucking dicks and in jail? Just in jail getting impaled. Fucked in the ass. And all sorts of crying and shit like that. And then Steve Harvey has to rub his bald head on TV and make them feel better about themselves. It's just a sad world. It really is sometimes. <laughs> Boo-hoo, bitches. But, you know, I'm glad that somebody like Crystal Renee stepped up and spoke up for the men. This is why women like her should be wifed up. She did a tape with some women in the past. So, you know, she's a freak. She's a fucking dime piece. She has pictures on the internet where she's pregnant and at the stove and she's barefoot and she's cooking. And let me tell you something. Like Damon Dash said, invest in women. That's the type of woman you need to invest in. You men who find these argumentative, quote, combative bitches that are running around trying to argue and fight with you. And you think that that's the way a woman should be. No, she's not on your side. This woman right here is somebody you can work with who's not going to try to work against you. This is why Neo is the MVP of 2015. He made the wisest decision of all of the dudes that wiped up somebody. Rick Ross wiped up Lyra Galore. You know, all these new relationships. Allegedly, Future wiped up Black China. Tiger wiped up Kylie Jenner, which was, in some people's opinion, a bad choice. In some people's opinion, a great, really great choice. Like Kanye approves of it. But let me tell you something. The MVP of this year of all of the new relationships is Neo and Crystal Renee. Shout out to Crystal Renee for being the beautiful dime piece that she is. Shout out to her for her knowing what's up and not bullshitting and just trying to play one for the female team. But saying, you know, that we need to have some responsibility on both sides here. Because as you can see, she didn't say that the man wasn't responsible at all for anything. She wasn't trying to act like men are infallible. Everything she said was respectful. Everything she said had to deal with equality, true equality, not fake equality that a lot of women want. She basically said flat out that both parties are to blame if your situation goes sour. Don't be so quick to put your foot on a man's neck. She's not here to emasculate men. All I want to know is this. Does she have a single sister? Let me know what you think about it all below. Be sure to subscribe. To the Meat Magazine YouTube channels, visit meatmagazine.blockspot.com for more. Crystal Renee is one of the baddest of all time. I thought this before I knew that she was with Neo. When I saw her pictures going around Twitter, I was like, damn, who's that girl? And she used to wear these tight-ass dresses and shit. I was like, oh my God, somebody's going to wipe that up quick. <laughs> and Neo sure did. He busted a thunder nut in her, made her belly round, got her pregnant, and he's going to marry her. Smart man. Let me know what you think about it all below Meat Magazine.